show you the caddis pupa. First thing we're going to tie in is the extended body here. A new product Umpla came out with. It comes in green and different colors and tans and gingers. And we have this curved shank hook, which is a 24, 57, or an 87, whichever one you want. Shell back of medallion sheeting. And then it has some legs here out of emu. Wings, medallion sheeting. It has some antennas here out of either mallard or teal. Some burnt mono eyes. And then the head area is possum. Let's, let me show you how this beauty's tied up. Start off with, we'll put in our hook, 2487, and we'll attach our thread, and we'll wrap back here a little bit. Now we're ready to attach that extended body, and we'll tie in this caddis pupa. Yeah, great looking little bodies, they're translucent. Plus, they kind of have, kind of show the guts inside there. You can see a little dark center to them. Really lifelike. You just set it on there, lash it down, just like so, and snip off all this excess. And if you want to add a whole lot more durability to it, you can also put a drop of Zappa Gap in there. Next thing we're going to do is tie in our wing case material. And for that, what we're going to be doing is using some medallion sheeting. So we'll cut a strip of this off, just like so. And since we have the sheeting in our hand, might as well cut out a pair of wings. That way, you just alleviate a bunch of waste, unwasted motion. There we go. Set that to the side. Now, we'll tie in our wing case. Just like so. And now we're ready to add a little bit of dubbing here of some possum. So, we'll grab some. Australian possum. What I like to do is take a little bit of the natural and some olive and maybe even a little tan. And I like to mix that all up since we're doing a olive pupa here. Just mix that up a little bit. The nice thing about possum, you can dub it real tight or you can dub it fairly loosely. So you have kind of a shaggy appearance, and that's kind of what we're going to want on this fly, so do it kind of loose. And we'll dub right in front of it here, just like so. Now we're ready to add our first set of legs. For that, we're going to be using some emu, so we'll select two feathers off, and we'll measure it so it's just about the length of the extended body. And we want them to go right on the underside of the body a little bit, kind of off to the side. And then we'll do the same thing on the side towards us. We'll grab another set, kind of set them on there, and tie them down. Snip off the excess. And I'm going to bring that wing case material over, just like so. Wrap back. And then we'll fold that back again. Now we'll add some more of that possum dubbing. Again, we'll just put it on there fairly loose. So we have that kind of a shaggy appearance in there. And we'll just wrap it on there. Make it look nice and buggy. Then we'll tie in our last set of legs, which is some more of this emu. Pull off two legs. 
I'm going to give him a limb on the side and kind of down underneath. Time in. And we'll pull off a few more, do it on the side towards us. Just like so. Now what we'll do is we'll just bring our thread forward, put a thread base down. Now we're going to we have a little bit of room between our thread and our hook eye. And what we're going to do is form a pair of eyes. So we'll grab our some monofilament. And we'll cut a hunk of this out. And we'll put that in our hackle pliers. And we'll just melt this stuff down. Do the other side. Just like so. And then you want to blow on them, make sure they're hard before you grab them. Nothing hurts more than having some burnt mono stuck to your finger. And we're going to attach those eyes. Now you want to leave some room between the eyes and the eye of the hook, just like so. Figure eight on there nice and good, and if you want, you can add a little drop of zapper gap. And then we'll add some more possum dubbing. To go right behind the eye here. Just like so. And we'll bring over this wing case. Tie it off right behind the eye. Several turns of thread. Cut it off. Now we're going to take our wings. So we'll grab our medallion sheeting here. What I'll do is just kind of figure eight right over the top of the eyes. Just like so. Now what I'm going to do is pull down and along the side of the hook shank, right behind the eyes, just like that. And then we're going to twist that a little bit and we'll come in and trim these wings at an angle, just like so. And being careful not to cut off your emu legs. And we have some wings on there. Now we're ready for our antenna. Or some mallard or teal. Or if you want to get real fancy, you can use some wood duck. Then we select two fibers. And we want to make sure that it extends past the back of the body a little bit. Tie that right behind the eye. Now we're ready to add some more dubbing on here. Grab that. And this time, since we don't want it real shaggy, dub it a little bit tighter. And that's the beauty of using this kind of material. Make it shaggy or, as you can see, fairly tight. And you're going to figure eight around the eyes a little bit. And then we're going to separate our antenna. So we can get them separated here. There we go. And then we pull one off to the side away from us. Do a figure eight. Do the same thing over here. Figure eight. And we just finish up our dubbing right in front. Now we're ready to take off our thread. Just like so. Now since this mallard wasn't dyed up yet, we'll take a olive magic marker. What I do is just take the cap off so I don't want to get the marker all over my fingers. I just stick the cap over the antenna, set my marker on it, just stroke over the top of it. That way I can take anything that's white and make it any color that I want. 
Now for the pupa stage to be active, the naturals will get their eyes a little bit darker. So what we're going to do is take a darker magic marker. And we'll take this dark brown here, I guess. And then we'll just darken up them eyes a little bit. Just like so. Making it look more natural. And we can also take a little bit black pen and And we can just go right down the back of here and just add a little more character to the fly. Just making it look a lot prettier in your fly box, not that much difference to your to the fish. And we're basically done. Just one more little trick to show you. To keep those antenna kind of curved back. Remember when your mom was doing Christmas gifts? When she'd do a ribbon, she'd take her scissors and just kind of stroke it. Didn't quite get it on edge there. And they just get that natural little curve to them. Makes them just look a lot more like the natural. Of course, when it gets wet, it's going to straighten out, but as soon as you open your fly box and your buddy sees this type of fly, you're just going to go, ooh. Well, there you have it. That's what I call the caddis pupa. Just take warning when you fish it, you better hold on because when they take it, I mean, they really slam it. <laughs>